Road Racing Championships. The racing, well, it's more than just the rider. Sometimes it's a family event because uh, motorcycle club racing is a family event. And uh, we've got a young lady here, Sophie, who has got a dad who's racing. And what sort of bike is he racing, Sophie? Uh, he's racing a 1,216. A 1,000 uh, yeah. CC bike. That's yeah. a lot of motorbike. R1. R1. An R1 Yamaha. Now, what's your dad's name? Michael. Michael. And he goes pretty fast? How did he go yesterday sloshing around in the wet? He did really good. He came first in qualifying and then he came second in the race. That's pretty fast. Because as your dad, he's probably up against people that are your age that he's racing against. <laughs> yes? All right. So he goes pretty fast. So he's been racing for a few years. This is not his first day of racing. No, he's been racing, this is his third year. Third year? Yeah. So he's come in as a, as a, as a master's class, as a distinguished old man. <laughs> kind of. And he's coming, he's doing okay. Imagine what had happened if he'd started racing when he was your age. Um, he'd probably be in ASBK. Like the What's the number of his bike? 46. That rings a familiar bell, 46. Anyone else that's famous that uh, rides a 46? Valentino Rossi. It's his favourite ASBK racer, all MotoGP. You know, I think that if your dad, with this sort of uh, talent that he's demonstrated in his ripe old age, had actually started racing when he was your age, he might have been up there with Valentino Rossi. What do you think? I think he would if he started around about my age, yes. There you go. So, come, have we got Michael in frame here? So what was it like out there, splashing around in the wet with the rubber ducks and the floaties and all that sort of stuff? Yeah, the wet was really good. I always excel in the wet, so uh, I had a ball yesterday when the rain came down. It, it helps me go a bit forward. Well, with those sorts of results, you couldn't have done much better, really. No, that, it was the best results I've ever had. That is awesome. Only three years of road racing. Yep, this is the third season, yep. Fantastic. So there's an encouragement for anyone who's out there considering going family motorbike racing. Is it fun? Yes, it's very fun. And so you're the pit crew? Kind of, yes. I help him a, a bit around the... You change the tyres, tune up the bike, get him lunch. I kind of, like, I every time he comes back from racing or whatever, I lift up the stand for him. And everyone needs a helper like that. That's it, yep. And just start somewhere. And just the encouragement, because we all need encouragement, don't we? That's right. That's it. Nothing like family to go and give you a push, especially when the starter motor doesn't work. Yep. <laughs> <laughs> Definitely, yep. There you go. Well, Michael, fantastic. Number 46, you're doing that number proud. Yep. That's great. Even though you got a bit of mud on you yesterday, we won't yep. talk about that. Good thing you got two bikes. Yeah. One's a little bit second-hand, but the other one's done really, really well. And you're going out again this afternoon. Yeah, got the feature race to go for the afternoon, yeah. Let's see if Michael features right up the pointy end of the feature race in the drop. Although, no, a few drops of rain. Yeah, it it no, could be coming in your favour. It could be coming in my favour. There you go. <laughs> Good on you, Michael. No worries. Thank Welcome you to Twist Grip Tales. And thanks, Sophie. You've done really well. Thank you. You're yeah. welcome. No problems at all. Has your dad got a Facebook page? Yes, he does. He doesn't really post on it much, though. So it's a secret? Yes, not a secret. I just don't <laughs> post on it. <laughs> That's all right. So uh, if you want to follow him, you've got to come out to the racing, cheer him on and do all that sort of stuff. Or sponsor him. Good on you, Michael. All Catch right. you later. Number 46, Valentino Rossi's alter ego. Could be his dad. You never know.